Hi everyone, Angela Ackerman, Independent Sensory Consultant. And uh, this video is part two of the Bring Back Your Bars. This is the remaining 13 cents that I didn't cover in my last video. All right, so the first one is Cherry Limeade. Um, this one is a zesty key lime, sweet cherry, and juicy berry. A delicious scent reminiscent of soda fountain drink. Um, this one, I mean, it smells okay to me. Like, I feel like I could, uh, on this side, I can smell the cherry. I can smell the lime. It definitely smells like a cherry limeade. But I almost feel like I could get this um, using a mix of other bars to get the same scent. And I think, too, like, I just had this. So, because um, I had this from a Bring Back My Bar recently like it's been a bring back my bar in the last couple of years and somebody exchanged theirs with me because they didn't care for it and so I just recently melted this in the last few months so for me this one's okay am I like w would it go in my club order no <laughs> so but it's all right it, especially if you like cherry limeade which I mean it's a good sense I like those scents um, it's just not club worthy for me at this point. All right. The next one is cherry almond pie and cherry almond pie. This classic fragrance was voted back by Scentsy fans around the world during our, during our most recent bring back my bar event. So we don't even have a description of what this smells like. Very sweet. I can smell the cherry. I can smell almond for sure, like almond extract. That's what it reminds me of. Um, very sweet. If you like bakery, this is one for you to probably try. Um, this one I could see being sufficient for myself with just this bar alone. Um, I actually, there's a different cherry, cherry strudel apple cherry strudel or something and I actually care for I like that one better man I'm not starting off great with the second set I didn't set them up this way either this is just how I put them in the thing okay the next one is uh, casting spells and it's a bewitching blend of apple drizzle roasted pears and cinnamon bark I really like the color of it I think that color is really pretty Okay, so I can smell, I can smell pear and apple and a hint of the cinnamon. Like I can smell, or I can smell something spicy that I'm assuming is the cinnamon. So this one will be interesting to warm. Um, yeah, we'll see. Because I like apple, I like pears. Pear is actually probably one of my favorite scents, so... Okay, next on the thing, we got bubblegum. A true scent of baseball card bubblegum, sugar, and cotton candy with a hint of mint. Yeah, this reminds me of um, exactly that, like Hubba Bubba or, um, you know, what's the big league chew? <laughs> That's what this smells like. So, you know, if, uh, if you want your house to smell like bubble gum with the hint of mint. Yeah, you should order that one if that's what you want. <laughs> you know, some of these, I actually got to kind of laugh because I feel like when we voted on these, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I feel like a lot of the ones at the very beginning, like I feel like there was a lot of A, B's and C's that got voted in. Um, and it could be just on how we vote because you can only vote for five at a time. So I know for myself, or like you can only vote for five at a time and then you have to take like a five minute break and then you can come back and vote for more. So I know for myself, I went in, I would read the description of what they, they smell or sounded like. And I'd be like, yeah, that could be interesting. So I would vote on it. And then after I chose my five and I couldn't choose any more and then I had to wait to go back in, I think I only did that like a few times. So I probably didn't even get through C 
I probably didn't because that was like very time consuming for me to have to go through and try to vote for hundreds of different scents. Um, not really having a favorite, knowing what I wanted to vote for. So, uh, and I can't imagine that I probably was the only person who maybe did that. So that could be why we have so many AB, like, I think there's three banana scents, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, and that could be why, but anyway. All right. So back onto the bees, uh, we got blue raspberry ice. Um, this one is remember racing to the neighborhood ice cream truck for those red, white, and blue ice pops. This fragrance recreates those perfect childhood moments with a stack of sweet cherry, icy white lemon, and blue raspberry. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Sorry about that. I just squished the box. It does. It smells just like a, a one of those popsicles or a, or like a blueberry, blue icy, blue raspberry ice slushy. See, now I would like this one because it's very fruity. That one smells very good. Okay, next we have blueberry rush. Um, and this is a blue. Now, Blueberry Rush says, a sweet surge of ripe blueberry leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, blackcurrant, and pomegranate. Ooh. See, now I really like this one. Now, um, so for a blueberry scent, I way prefer this over, um, blueberry cheesecake. I like blueberry cheesecake, but I like this, the smell of the fruits better on this one where it's not so sweet. I like this one a lot. Okay. Next we have grape granita, sun ripe grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. It's a beautiful purple color. I smell grape. This side, maybe that's the honeysuckle. Hmm. It reminds me of grape Kool-Aid. I guess it'll depend on what it smells like once I get it warm. Now I, I have not smelled, these are all new scents to me. I haven't really smelled um, any of these before, except for the cherry limeade. The cherry limeade is the only one for me that is, is one that I've smelled before. So these are all new scents to me. Okay. This one, uh, I'm going to be honest. I couldn't wait to open this one. This one is banana nut bread and it's right from the oven with ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. And uh, as you'll see, I've got one missing. I actually took it to work and I melted it at work. Uh, the Thursday before Christmas because it was fitting banana bread. I mean, that kind of goes with Christmas, right? And it is, uh, this one is just lovely. I really like this one. I understand. So my understanding is banana nut bread is the, the scent that started it all uh, with Scentsy. This is what, this is the one, right? And this one, it just smells so great. It smells just like banana bread. When you warm it, it smells like you have just baked banana or and or are baking banana bread in your home. It smells so good. Uh, so I understand why this one is so special and so great. Um, I really like this one. Okay, next I have a banana berry. Banana berry. Lusciously sweet banana cream layered with succulent strawberries. So when I left work on Thursday, I actually uh, put this one, that's that bar. <laughs> I put this one in my warmer when I left so that I can melt it tomorrow when I go to work. Oh, yeah, see this one, it's, it's like, the, it's the banana with strawberry. You can smell the little bit of cream. It reminds me of more like a, like banana pudding which is probably the cream. So the bananas with the cream. Oh. Yeah, that one smells good. I'm excited to, to 
have that one melting tomorrow. Okay, next up we have Shimmer. And this one is Sweet Cherries, Velvety Apricots, and Sensual White Musk crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar. Okay, so I like this scent. Um, it's got a little bit too much of a musky scent for me. Um, or like a floral. I understand why, like they, at some point in time, they had it in, um, like the body, body line, right? The lotions and stuff. I don't really get the smell of cherry or apricot. I just really smell the musky, musk smell. That's what I smell. I mean, it's, it's a florally musk, like, well, it's gotta be a, a, a fruity musk. I don't know, I would have to warm it to see. Um, I don't really smell the sugar, but I don't really, I mean, it's, it's, to me, this reminds me of like a, a woman, you know, I always say, oh, it's a man scent. It's a man scent. Well, this is a female version of that. <laughs> That's what I get out of that. It's like, this should be a, a cologne. Yeah. That scent's better. It should be a cologne. Okay. Uh, or a perfume. Perfume. Yeah. Sorry. I don't wear perfume. I, so I apologize. Okay. Anyway. All right. Next one. Uh, thunderstorm. Thunderstorm is very refreshing, sharp, spicy outdoor fragrance like the breeze in a storm. This one I really like. I can almost smell like like wet grass or something. Yeah, I really like this one. I would say this is kind of a man scent too. Um, but it's still, this is a, I like this one. I'm, I'm looking forward to warming that one. Okay, uh, final two. We got coconut cotton. This is sun-warmed cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood transport you to a cabana on a tropical beach. Okay, so I can smell a little bit of a citrus, and what's got to be the creamy coconut milk because it's like a, a creamy smell, if that makes sense, but... It smells really mild, like when warmed. It's it's almost like a it's a fresh scent to me. I, I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what it seems like to me. So I'll have to warm it and see. But it's like it's on cold sniff, it's like a mild um fresh scent. Okay, then the final one we have is Ambrosia. And this is the sweetest fruit salad ever. Tropical pineapple, mandarin orange slices, juicy pears, and ripe Concord grapes with a hint of jam and fruit nectar. Mm. I can smell a combination of several fruits. I don't know if I could pick it out and say, oh yeah, that's pineapple or nectarine. Or mandarin, sorry. I don't necessarily smell pear. I suppose when you warm it, the combination will probably come out better. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll be warming that to see. Um, all right. So, that was the final 13. Um, again, let me know which ones of these you guys have tried before, which is your favorite. Don't forget to uh, like this video if it was helpful for you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if these videos are something that you are interested in watching. Thank you guys so much and have a blessed new year.